Okay, so in this video we will talk about screen, a Linux command. I know that, uh, first of all, I have to say that there is a disclaimer, that screen screen command is deprecated for a couple years ago, a couple years now, So, but, but we will uh, stay and focus on, uh, on screen command. So, first of all, before to speak about what this screen is supposed to do, we will see if we have screen installed on my own on my own laptop. So let's see that. Okay, so I want a screen. Command not found. Okay. So I am going to be s SU first. After that I'm going to see if I can find screen on my own on my own laptop. Sorry. Okay. So I assume that it is available. And there we go. Screen is installed. Okay. So remove this. Okay. So let's assume, for example, that I have uh, a script. I am going to write a stupid script. So let's assume, for example, that I have some command in the, in the script. So this is not really important. So now what we want to say is that what is screen is supposed to do. Uh, screen is a Unix command that we use to launch uh, any shell script. And uh, the, if the shell script takes a lot of time to, to run, so we are suppose we will not we are not able we are humans we can not stay in the front of our laptop for a couple of hours and let it run uh, in the background so this is where screen is used for example let's assume that in my screen i want just to say hello okay okay So right now I'm going to put the right on the script so it can be executed. That's it. Now if I execute it, it works. So it print on the screen hello world. After that, uh, there is a couple of way to set up the a couple of steps to know about the screen command. The first things to do is to, if you're not sure about screen, what you have to do first is to enter the command man screen. That should give you a, a useful help about screen. That's it. So you have a couple of flags about screen. There is a couple of user script that I am supposed a couple of flag that I am you and you I'm used to, to use. There is this one. So the first thing we have to do is to initiate a screen session. In the screen session we will put our our shell script that we want to to let run in the background. So first of all what we can do is you can use man screen or you can enter screen that's it. Okay, so what we are supposed we are we are going to initiate our screen session. For for that we we enter this flag and you put a name to your screen session. For example, I'm going to call it uh, my first my first session. Okay. So once once I will type enter, I will be in a new screen session. That will help me to initiate my screen session. Right now, I am inside my new uh, screen session. If I want to list all the screen session that is available, I have just I have to enter this flag. That's it. Screen ls help me to list all the screen that are available. Okay, so I am still in, inside my screen session. How I know that I am still inside my screen session? Using this rule here. Okay, so now to quit my screen session, when I quit my screen session, my screen session is still available in the background. Okay, so now if I want to to quit, I have to enter control plus H, and after that, control plus D. So now I will 
enter control A and control D. Okay, so now I am ins out outside of my screen session. If I enter the, sta the same screen command no, using the flag ls, after that you see that a statue has changed. Let's assume that I want to create to create a second to initiate another another session. My another session you still using the this flag. That's it. I am now inside the, the second session. If I now enter I want to list all the screen sessions available. As you can see here it is attach and here it is detach. It means that detach means that my first session, the session name, my first session is still available in the background, and my another session called my another session is available. It is attached because I am inside this one. Okay. Now, see if I want to leave this session, all I have to do is to press Control A and after that Control D. Control A and Control D. That's it. I am now outside outside of this session. And now, if I want to list them, that's it. Their statue has changed. They are all two, they are both detached, set as detached. So now, <coughs> if I want to get back to my screen session, one of them, for example, this one, my first session, all I have to do is to enter screen, and after that R, and the name of the screen session. That's it. Now I can get back to it. That's it. Now I am inside the screen session. Let's re-enter re the command with let's list the the screen session available. You will see that the state has changed. Attach and detach. I am now inside my 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 first session and the uh, statue has changed. Okay. So right now I enter Control A and Control D to leave it uh, again. And let's assume now I want to improve the content of my shell script. Okay, so we're going to say, for example, something stupid. Um, I want my script to to enter, to print on the screen. Zip one, to print on the screen every second. The the, the message. Hello world. Okay, that's it. And I want to execute it in the my first session. So now to do this, I list the sc the screen session variable, and after that to reattach, we use air as air egal reattach. Okay. After that, I just have to take this, take this, take this. Okay. I get back to my screen session. Now I can easily execute my script. And that's it. Hello world, hello world, hello world. Every second the message will print on the screen. So I can I am still now inside the screen session. And now if I want to leave without breaking the running of the script, all I have to do is to enter control A and control D. That's it. And get back to the to my default session. I can list them. As you can see they are both detached. If I get back to this, my screen, my first screen session, you will see that my script is still running in the background. That's it, my script is still running. Okay, so let's assume that my script will run for a couple of uh, hours. I cannot run in the background inside a screen session. That's the purpose of a screen session. Now, see if I want, I, I want to leave my screen session, all I have to do is to enter Control A and Control G. That's it. And if I want to, for example, if I want to run another script, right here I am going to copy my first script to another one. Instead of um, printing on the screen, uh, hello world, I want to print something else. So I'm going to modify my script. And I am going to say, for example, sleep uh, around two seconds and print. Hello world uh, 2, for example. Okay. I don't have to enter right now slash mode plus 10 because using CP is uh, enough. If you want to check 
the execution right, the execution right on the script, we have to do it on test this. Fo. That's it. And as you can see, there is the script. The, the execution script is already available. So now let me assume that I want to to list my all the script I have. Again, I want to uh, reattach the other the other session and to execute my new script inside this one. So I have to enter screen. R. And enter the name of this one. Okay, and so now, since I'm now inside this one, if I am not sure, you could still enter screen to rehearse and check the statue of the, the screen. So it is attached, which means that I am right now inside this one. So now I can enter the second script. And that's it. Now we can leave it. Control I and Control D. Let's list again the list of the screen I have. If you want to get back to this one, you have to enter this, this, and that's it. You are still inside. I my script, first script still is still running. Okay, I can leave it now using Control H and Control G. And now, if you want to destroy a screen session. You can what I will show you the easiest way to do this. You can get back to reattach first, reattach to it. Now I'm going to destroy the execution of my script. I just enter Control C. That's it. And now if I want to destroy it, I will, all I have to do is want to exit. As you leave a, a usual session in, on Linux. That's it. Now if I list them, there is no only my second my second session that is still running. And that's it. My first session was destroyed because when, when I was inside it, I just entered exit. So now it is destroyed. Okay, thanks for watching. Bye.